Hi there, this is John from Fantastic Tales and Adventures. You're very welcome here today. Hopefully by now you're getting confident in your writing with some of the things we've discussed in previous videos, and as ever, you can go back and refresh yourself at any time. This video is going to get into some of the nitty gritty of writing. Today, we're going to talk about characters. It should go without saying that characters are of critical importance to stories. They add perspective, they advance the plot, we get involved in their lives. However, there is a big difference between making a compelling character, one who steps out of the page at you, and one who simply occupies in the, a hole in the plot, approximately the same shape as they are. I'm going to cover the basics of making interesting characters. Let's do a bit of an exercise. You'll probably want some paper. This can be done solo, but it is helpful to be done as a group session as later on you will want to share. So you can do this bit solo or as a group and share your writings for feedback. It's entirely up to you. I'm going to pop a number of types of people on the screen in just a moment. Pick one. You don't need to tell anyone, just write it down. Here they are. I will leave them up for a few seconds. If you need longer, pause it. Now we want some physical things to describe our character. Again, I will pop a list on a screen. Choose as many traits on screen as you like or come up with some that relate to the character's appearance. Okay, here they come. Pause the video if you need longer to choose. Okay, so now we have a type and a vague appearance. It's still not a character though, we need to flesh them out a bit. Write the answers to the following questions down on your piece of paper. What is their family like? How smart is the character? What is their outlook on life? What is their temperament? Are they wealthy? Or are they poor? And then we come to their history. Why are they this way? What happened to shape them? Think of a defining moment in their life. I'll give some broad starters and you can take it from there. Have they suffered a personal tragedy? Have they learned an important life lesson? Have they had a moment of epiphany or realisation? Were they a witness to something great or terrible? Have they met their hero and were they amazed or disappointed? This is a very basic list of things to get you started. There's a fantastic chapter on character creation that goes into very great detail in a book by Linda Anderson entitled Creative Writing. I will link it in the description. If you want to go really deep, deeper than this, and you're okay with learning from a textbook, then I would recommend it quite highly. So, now you have a character. What they look like, their outlook, and their history. We now need to bring that all together. It's time to write. But here is an important thing. You, just because you know all these things about your character does not mean you need to rub the reader's nose in it. You need to know who they are as it defines their actions, their language and what function they serve in the plot. But that doesn't mean you need to spell it out for the reader. It is as much a guide for you as it is a plot that can be revealed in due time. So, for instance, a person with no knowledge of Spider-Man could pick up a Spider-Man comic and enjoy it, even if at no point does it reference the death of his Uncle Ben as the reason he puts on the mask. They will see a quick quipping hero motiva motivated by a sense of responsibility. So long as the writer knows about the tragedy in Spider-Man's life and that the jokes are a defence mechanism, then he will be written with authenticity. Write a scene with your character using the following, one of the following prompts. Their credit card is declined in a shop and they have no cash on them. They have somewhere they need to be, however they miss their bus or train and are stuck waiting for the next one when another commuter starts talking to them. Their car has broken down and it took a lot longer than expected for a rescue vehicle to arrive, or it has not arrived yet. They are in a restaurant awaiting their blind date who is late, and the waiter keeps pestering them to order. They are on a long journey in a plane, train, bus or fully loaded car, and one of the other passengers is being obnoxious to a third. Or anything else you can think of. Now just write your scene, spend about 20 minutes doing this, don't worry if it isn't perfect, just now this is for this is just a starter. Pause the video and come back when you're done. Okay, so you've, you've had a shot at writing a character. Hopefully they start to come to life for you. We need more though. Characters have little quirks that make them unique. A hobby, a pastime, a habit or a vice. 
so your hard-nosed beat cop might actually like to play the flute of an evening as it relaxes them. The bank teller who spends all day being a drone, uh, counting money and entering data, might be writing a best-selling graphic novel in the evenings. The prim and proper teacher might be a naturist in their spare time. Or maybe your character has a vice, drugs, alcohol, fetish. It may be destructive, it may not, or it may not yet be. Take a look at what you've written and then give your character a quirk, a hobby, an unusual skill, something that will get them out of this life, or a vice, or a destructive habit. And then continue writing for another 20 minutes or so. Again, you don't need to be obvious about the quirk. It may never explicitly appear on the page, but it will guide what language they use, their demeanor. At this point, you should consider sharing your work with your group and then giving feedback on it. The next thing to consider is how your character impacts the reader. The first obvious ways that they achieve this is by the things they say and do. This gives the reader an impression of who they are and what they are about. It communicates some of the character's obvious values, perhaps their physicality and outward intent. However, there are other ways, perhaps more subtle ways to nudge things along. How you, the writer, describe the character adds flavour. Think about your language choice, how you see the character. There will be a video in future about language choice, but it is, a, it is quite a way away yet. You also need to consider how other characters react to each other and whether what they display is their honest opinion. Perhaps two characters who hate one another are forced to smile and shake hands due to the circumstance of their meeting. To all outward appearances everything is fine but there will be a few things they do that will give away the tension to the reader. And if you're focusing into the point of sharing your focal character's thoughts then you can spell certain things out to the reader. There is something else to consider, and perhaps some of you will disagree with me. Characters do not exist in a vacuum. Characters serve the plot of a story by fulfilling a purpose. Characters in a story have a reason to be. I'm going to go through a simplified list of roles that your characters will fall into. Also bear in mind, some characters fall into multiple roles in a story at different points. The protagonist or hero, the person that has some form of obstacle to overcome in the main plot. Uh, this could be winning the heart of their one true love, slaying a dragon, solving a murder, or whatever plot you can think of. They also may have personal development over the course of the plot. The reader rides on the shoulder of the, of the protagonist, so the protagonist needs to go on a journey. The antagonist, or villain. This character is the obstacle that the hero has to overcome. It may be a rival, the criminal, or the dragon, or it may be the protagonist's limits and fears. A detailed protagonist uh, with interesting motivations, interesting history, really builds a plot. The teacher. A character who helps a protagonist gain some skills, knowledge or growth, enabling them to complete their task. An ally. Someone who helps the protagonist on their journey. A trickster. Sometimes an obstacle, sometimes a person who upsets the natural order of things, allowing people to see beyond their limitations, and sometimes comic relief. I'm just going to pop some examples of protagonists, antagonists, teachers, allies and tricksters on screen just now, just to give you an idea of the sort of characters we're talking about. This is not an exhaustive list of character roles. If you're interested in studying this further, I recommend The Writer's Journey by Christopher Vogler. I will link in the description. Vogler goes into a lot of details, provides excellent examples, and is an easy read. As an exercise, think about the character you created earlier in this video. What role do you think they would play in a larger story? Are they the hero or the villain? Are they an enabler or an obstacle? Jot down a few thoughts and then discuss them with your group. Do people agree with you? Is there another role you hadn't even considered for them? I'm going to wrap up this video with a discussion on my experience doing this. I wanted to create a character for my novel. I knew roughly how I wanted them to act. I knew what role I wanted for them. And as they still exist in my world, I won't tell you too much. I thought of their appearance and I thought of their outlook on life. This was important as it, as it was where I started. And then I looked into their past. This character had a very distinct personality and it doesn't grow in a vacuum. I started studying people. What makes people become a certain way? I came to the conclusion that in this case it was a tragic event. So I wrote their story. It is called Thrown to Wolves. 
You can hear a reading of it on this channel and I'll put a link on screen just now if you haven't already heard it. If you're a fan of fantasy, you may well enjoy it. And once you've listened, just remember one thing. Whatever character you create and whatever role you have in mind, they have their own story where they are the protagonist. You may never write that story, but you need to know it because it is what makes them who they are. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. You can find links to my blog and social media in the description below, and you can support this channel by clicking on the button on screen just now. All the best to you. Happy writing!